Right then, folks. We are maybe back. Maybe back. Maybe we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. Now that my my router's reset, um, John's picture's coming through a lot clearer. Oh. The stream doesn't think it's dropped any any frames. That's a good. It's a good start. Exactly. I'm I'm gonna take this as a good sign so far. So yeah, we're probably not gonna replay that last match. Or I mean, unless you want to, John, we could. We I think could. it's uh. It's a weird one because I don't really know who's favoured in that position. <laughs> if it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I think it's your if your hand attack is on point because I'm like ramping into one big thing because again mm. I have the problem yeah. of being a ramp deck and that version of the list does not have the mass manipulation in it. Exactly. Um, yeah. I I think I'd be a little bit boned. Basically, I think I'd be yeah really badly off. Uh, in the late game, if you manage to stop me, I'm definitely like the aggro deck. I'm the proactive deck. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, I've got, I mean, I've got rituals of sort. I've got removal. I've got six mana planes because I'm playing Liliana and Ugin. Yeah. So uh, generally, if we get to that sort of stage, and then we're probably going to lose. Both games, you manage to basically stone rain me for three. Um, oh yeah, that 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 ritual of sort was was insane. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to try and beat around that. That was insane. It was so good. Um, but yeah, I think perfectly, perfectly reasonable as as a sort of thought experiment. But mm -hmm. as it stands, yeah, ramp versus control in standard maybe not the best way of going about it. Um, seeing as we're not ramping with uh, land based ramp at the moment we're ramping with dorks and that is fragile in my yeah, opinion like yeah. i i always say that tron versus control tron players probably have a better match of it because you know you control players they they can slow you down all they want but they can't kill you fast enough for you to not just draw enough stuff to eventually draw the things that you need um whereas in standard i think because the um the control decks have so much power on the ramp decks are so fragile that actually that just it's almost flipped on its head there like yeah you you definitely can draw enough ways to kill me fast enough because in standard the planeswalkers that are doing the controlling are also making two twos at the moment um yeah and things like that so yeah um Next decks. Uh, I'm just going to show stream what I'm doing next here. Uh, Nightbot doesn't seem to have come back yet, so I'm not going to worry about putting it up on the uh, on the stream decker. But obviously, if you're watching on YouTube, it'll be in the in the do free do free. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is actually one that I was sent, and apparently it's up on Twitch Rivals at the moment. Uh, I was sent this by um, a stream patron, and nice. I have been trying to make a deck like this work for a very long time. So if this works, I'm going to be a happy man. It should be going to be very good. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And then I've, I've sort of thrown together a sideboard that's, I think, generally okay. Um, but we shall see. I, I like, I like your, your game plans where you know what you're doing as you go into it yeah definitely and i think that's that was a big thing in that game is it was kind of like there was never a point where like my game plan is just more powerful than yours and i think that's where we got to in that game yeah agree agree absolutely agree um let me know when you're ready for the challenge by the way yeah that's fine i'm just trying to be a a, a blue white flyers deck in a top deck war and their top decks have been okay so i one of the best examples is I thought Erasure them, uh, taking uh, their their Seraph, so they have no they have no land, so they've got double Teferi in hand. Mm. They've got double, so they've got double Teferi Time Raveler, no third land, and I take the Seraph. Um, he's got three the three flyers in play, untapped top deck winged words. I'm just like what. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> we really have to go through this? 
That's, uh... That's fine. We may have stabilised now. We should be good. And there's nothing... I've, I've just drawn one of my Commander Dreadhordes, so hopefully... Hopefully it's good enough. I think I'm just going to steal the pile of... Oh, he's conceded. It's fine. Perfect! <laughs> it's excellent. So we finally got a win. We were nice. playing Esper Control. So I've, I've built so many 2020 decks, it's unreal. So it's like, it was a really big thing. It was like, I can just build loads of 2020 decks. And yeah. one of the ones that I'm going to play... So the one... We, we might come back and play Salto Control again because it's a very interesting deck. I lost to Mono Red with it. Some of the... Yeah. But... One of the decks I want to play, I can't play in standard 2020 because it contains the card Opt. Now, Opt has been reprinted in Rhone of Eldraine. Yeah. But they haven't updated Arena to take that into account. Yeah. So it's kind of like I want to play this deck, and there's a couple of there's a card in here that I really want to see how good it is still because I really love the card. But it it I can't play in 2020 because it's not legal it's like oh my goodness me really yes so, yeah, yeah so absolutely uh this hand is a mulligan and this hand is a beautiful beautiful hand oh one red source my kingdom for a red source mulligan that too many red sources too many red sources i'll keep this one let's put it on the bottom This is going to be very interesting because I don't actually know what deck you're playing, <laughs> and you have no idea what I'm playing either. So this, so I put two, I put two decks up on Stream Decker. So this is the second one of the two. So the first one was, um, was sort of control, and this one's another one. So mm -hmm. I'm just want to see how well this one goes. I, I, in theory, this deck should be really good, um, but theory doesn't always work. Yeah. So let's wait and see. Like, so in theory, it should be good. I just need to see if it's actually any good. Um, the the I built this deck quite a lot before. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so it's kind of like, uh, let's just draw this. Yep. Um, it should be good. Have you got anything else to do this turn? Nope. Go into the bottom. Not put it on the bottom. Beautiful. I mean, haha, -ha, fool you off of my red man where I played Duress. <laughs> no, no, it was just like rather than just going to, get oh, to yeah, the end, yeah, yeah. Get no, to the end step, I might as well just do it now and just crack on because you can't shortcut an arena a lot of the time, which is like one of those things that is like, ah, want a shortcut, not allowed to. Um, yeah, let's make that. And... Yep, you know what we didn't draw? Anything that cost less than three mana in our opening hand. The uh, the Knight of oh, the Ebon good. Legion was a good find, but... Uh, uh... Goodbye, Servo. Yeah, bye, you will You will be missed. <laughs> okay. So, it's a bit, so this is going to be interesting, because I, I think this looks to be quite good. Oh my goodness me, really? Yeah. You're playing that? Yeah, it's great. Okay. It's not amazing against that. Take one damage each, you dealt first blood to me. Hmm. hmm. This would be interesting. Pew. I'm going to take the block. I'm assuming you've got another one. Interesting. Nope, we've got a combat. Oh, so that's trample. No, <laughs> just, that's funny. My headphones die. I'm also not going to play around that at all. It's quite funny. Oh. You alright? Yeah, yeah, sorry, headphones died. Oh wow, he's got another one. <laughs> yep. All of the damage. Now don't draw cards, I don't like it when people draw cards at me. All right, well, that's a row. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, pew, pew.
You see, I'm going to punch you in the face. I go to ten. Okay. Resolve. Resolve. Decline. I'm not going to give up one of my four four trample flying tramplers for one of your servos. Does Rail get to do at the moment? Four. Four. Okay. Pick a spawn, any spawn. I will, thank you. <laughs> Chandra's Triumph, you say? I think I should probably just take out this row. Nah. We're playing for a short oh. game here. Yeah. Go to the dome. To the dome, I say. To the dome. Uh huh. Triple block. Triple block. Does that mean that there's a shock in hand? It's actually the funniest nombo combo between your spawn and the Cavalier of Night. Why? Because you can't. You're never going to trigger the spawn when you're gaining four life. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Still a four-four flying plus. But yeah, you are right. Uh, yeah, we'll leave you on top. It wasn't doing a massive amount of anything else, so... Uh, That's fair. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that the game isn't going to go on long enough for Rao's, <laughs> you know, card drawing and filtering effects to really matter. Ooh. Oh, we are for the full Jess guy. Okay. No, no, no. It's um, I don't own four uh, temples. Oh, you don't own four Temple of Epiphany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Chandra's Triumph for three. And there's that shock. We called it, folks. We called it. Sure. Probably should have actually bottomed that. Yeah, hundred percent. I have a I have an active Sahili. For some reason, my brain thought it was a two-two. Yeah. I I thought it came in as a two-two. That was that was me brain farting. I should have just bottomed that. Yeah, but it's fine. You get to deal one to something. Probably just you. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And I've still got to deal with the Cavalier of Night and you getting... Well, you can't get spawned back, I suppose, which is a good thing. No. No, I cannot. Jesus. Ugh. Do I just reset with a new one? I think I've messed this one up a little bit here, folks. But uh, we might still be able to draw out of it. We're drawing a little thin, but we might be able to draw out of it. 
Resetting. Oh, are you resetting your row? Right, yeah. Seems reasonable. Seems reasonable. Yep. No point in taking a backup to Healy when I clearly can't deal with it, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the thing. <laughs> Is you can't you can't deal with what I have on board, so I might as well make the most of the uh, most of it. Oh, this is pretty good actually. Ooh. Oh, I can hold on to this for the moment. Oh, I'd Lord. like you to not have an instant here. Okay, why? Well, because then you just get to make a blocker. Just any instant. Kind of annoys me. Oh, mobilized district. Oh yeah, of course. Hmm. Huh. Wow, I've misplayed this badly. Good, 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 good. Did you draw a lightning uh, uh, shock? No, no, no. I drew okay. the devil. Oh, sure. Okay. Power of playing a duo color control list, you get to play Mobilize District. Yes, that is a card. Why are you sh I suppose you might as well shock yourself. Yeah, A, I've got plenty of life, and B, sometimes it keeps you out of the range of some of your burn spells if I um, pump it up. But I suppose, yeah, all right, we're done. We managed to get there, boys. Yeah, I completely, I, I completely oh. misassigned uh, my targets. How do you mean? I Well, A, my first attack for A in the air should have taken out the Sahili. Uh, uh, yes. And yes, then should. I should have taken out the Rao. Clearly. Uh, yeah, Rao's really good. Like, so, so, yeah, like, but my point at the time the was I wanted to make the game short, so Rao shouldn't yeah, affect oh, it. But he does, so... Right, so here's the thing. So... I'm playing this deck but almost specifically to see how good Ral is. Mm -hmm. Because I really like Ral. Really, really like him. And I'm actually interested to see how good he is as a card. Um, because I think that there is a lot of scope for, for him to be good post-rotation. He's just a very, very good card in any mid-range or control strategy. Because Jen, if you're going to play a load of removal spells, then he just allows you to recoup everything. Yep. By the fact that he, has, he does somewhere between what zero and half a million points of damage mm. because of his minus ability being so good but also at the same time he can then just draw you out of things if he survives so like you let him survive like he came in and killed a spawn so he what he he slightly underdid the one for one but then you let him live yeah and admittedly both activations found two lands but that's two lands i'm that's four lands i'm no longer seeing yep and if i don't have him i probably lose because i don't find the spells to do, keep the sahili active so that's just another interesting way of looking at it. Yep. Also, we did not come out of the gates particularly fast there. No. Um, but that does happen sometimes. Mm. There, is a there is a failure rate on these decks. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I don't actually know what I'm going to sideboard in, but this one seems really good. I might actually keep that one and see how it goes. I don't know if I want this. I don't actually know this much of what card this card comes in against anymore. Actually, no, no, maybe I do. I will admit, my one was relatively easy against you because you're just a planeswalker control deck with yeah. like no creatures. Yeah, pretty much. That's why the Sahelis are so good. Mm. Mm. Um. Hmm. Yeah, there's a possibility I should have left my Legion's ends in, but I'm... No. I feel like if you're fighting that fight, you've already lost. You are streaming live now, aren't you? Uh, yes, should be. Uh, yeah, okay. Mulligan. Bit of a risky one, but I yeah, think... No, I think we can justify it. I think this is the only way we win this game is with this hand. Are we getting duress on turn one? Am I under address? Yeah, you are. Okay, fine. 
Oh, well, there's... Oh. A lot of removal. There's some stuff, yeah. Shock, Coil, Chandra, and Sarkin. I think we're just going to take that Shock away. <laughs> Never didn't have, have it. Have it. <laughs> hey, sometimes it's badly lucky than good. Absolutely it is. Absolutely it is. Um, right, I'm going to play this, and then I'm actually yep. going to be in this one, I think. Okay. I am doing really, really well. I am just going to keep the board clear at the moment, I think. That seems reasonable. Like, that might be the wrong way to do, because if you have... Mind you, you can't cast a spawn next turn. So it's like, yes, it's one of those... this is it. If 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 I'm like land spawn because you didn't like kill the one thing on board that could actually deal you damage, then yeah, absolutely, oh, you feel real rough. Perfect. What on earth is this card? Oh yeah, this one. It says "keep me alive." <laughs> is what it does. <laughs> it says your guy has no power anymore. Okay, you can now see I have a draw the Rouse outburst as well. And the Sarkin and the Chandra. Yeah. So Mu uh Mu Yanling is one of the is from M20 and was very much like I was like, eh, I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, she seems pretty medium to me, but also she is just stopping this dreadhood at the moment. Yep, from doing anything. And it's wonderful. I am drawn on the land, so I'm just running on the fact that I hope I draw a land eventually. I do you join your third land finally as well. It also means you can't trigger spectacle. That's annoying. Oh well. We could we can dream. Yeah. But it's actually really interesting because she gets plus two on her thing, so it's like it still doesn't matter. Yeah. It's really strange. But obviously you now get to trigger your spectacle much more. Um, yeah, much much more freely. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Did we hit the land? No. Apparently I'd, not. I'd love to. It's, I actually put 27 lands in this deck. Because powerful wizard. Mm. Mm. No, nice. And it's, it's quite good because you don't have... It, the, the devil's double black, isn't it? Uh, like yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Mm. It just means like you, you could minus the Chandra here and get the duress back, but it's like, is that good enough? Like I'm missing land drops, and you know yeah. I have two planeswalkers in hand. I don't know what your hand is because like you're you're banging your head against a brick wall against move against uh, Mu Yan Ling. is interesting. Yeah, that was a good draw. I'm struggling. Do you see the synergies? The synergies! Oh, I, I know exactly I, what your deck does. Yep. Yeah. It's just a question as to whether it's actually, you know... It will be. Like good you enough. Have a, you have a Chandra in play. Yes. Like, it uh, probably is good enough. One here. Um, um. We're dead here. We didn't find any lands early enough. Like you stumbled, I stumbled, and I have a hand that doesn't cast anything, so it's all good against me. Yeah, fair, fair. <laughs> I think I'm happy with what I'm doing here. I'm definitely happy. Yeah. That's a hard one. I will play first. I will keep this hand. This is a hand of cardboard. These are indeed some magic cards. That was a pretty good draw. Actually, let's start here. Ah, 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 
mulliganing keepable hands against the duress deck. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah, right. On you go. Do you have the dreadboard put you? Uh, no, unfortunately, I do not. That's good for me. No, you're not dead yet. <laughs> I'm not dead yet, he says. <laughs> Okay. I I kept a three land opener and haven't drawn any land. Haven't drawn land. Yep. Evening, sheepy. I don't know why, but it just decided to put Chandra Awakened Inferno on the stack, as you conceded. No, I don't know. Is it, uh, arena's just so bad tonight again. Like I've I've mulliganed so many of those hands. Let's do that one again. I want to play that match again. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Let's go at it again. Uh, no, it's not real combo. It's is it control? Yeah. And I don't seem to be able to draw any relevant spells. Like I I I kept three landers in both those games and never saw a fourth land. So it's kind of like you can't do anything about that. Yeah, so, both yeah. both the ones that you won. Uh, sorry, both the ones that I won. You had just stumbled on mana. The one that you won. We both played vaguely reasonable magic. Um, that is a very good hand. We will keep the heck out of that hand. For a game one hand, that's the hand. Five. Yep. Seven lands in the opener. No lands in the six. Can't keep hands like that. Okay. Indeed, conflict. My deck does look familiar. Conflict was the one that sent it to me. Yeah. <laughs> are you pl are you playing Hoodland's version or the one that lost? Uh, I believe conflict sent me a slightly his slight variation on the list. So which which one, Hoodland's or users? User, I believe. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. As I I, I would have I I would have sent you Hoodland's because I think that deck's better. I don't think Spawn of Mayhem is very good, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, uh, yeah. Co as Conflict says, it's it's not actually either, but it's closer to users. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd like to draw lands, but that doesn't seem to be possible today. Uh, if we do that, then that. Yes, cool. Uh, the reason Judith over Chandra here, Judith makes it harder for John to stop me triggering the Knight of the Ebon Legion. That word there is killing me. This deck would be insane if that word was just gone. Just, what word? The non-token on Judith. I think that card would be too powerful. Yeah, you already have you already have you already, have you already you already have a three three that does the same job because it sacrifices anyway. Yeah, yeah, but it's the fact that Judith is also a lord. She would she would be way too powerful. I think I agree with that. Punchy punchy. That's no, not ideal. Yeah. So I think the fact that you have Chandra in hand as well. Ridiculous, like your hand's been insane. Yep. And obviously, as I was saying, this is all in uh, service of getting that, getting yeah. that ebullition Another... trigger. Oh, come on. We still missing land drops? Yeah. Yes, we are. Well, no, we've got land drops. We've got nothing to do with it. We've drawn four lands now. Oh, okay. And I, I bottomed the land and drew a land with the op, so it's kind of like I multiplied and then did nothing. Yep. Yeah. Losing, like, 
I don't know. It's, it's, no, it's, 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 it's to... the problem with arena testing, right? You play a normal game of arena, you go, okay, I lost a variance. When you're testing, it's super annoying because you're like, no, th- this is not the point of this. What we're, we're trying to do is work out what's going on here. Um, it's the thing that when you're in paper, yeah. you just get to go, oh, frack it, restart, or pick some lands out your deck and put them in your battlefield sort of thing. Um Now, don't get me wrong, the deck, that deck's really the, the, the Rakdos decks are very good right now because I don't have the cards I need to beat them. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't have Murderous Rider, so they make the most of playing cheap spells. It's cheap Planeswalkers. Bear in mind, you can't play against, you can't play Cat Spells because of Teferi. If mm-hmm. you have, if I have access to Murderous Rider, then this matchup is very different because you're starting plus two damage and dies. I don't know. I think that I've got enough things going on that. Like, you're playing a deck at the moment with all of the removal, and yes, you're not drawing well, but... Chandra's very difficult to deal with, because I don't... I, I'm playing... I, yeah. I want to be playing blue-black control, because it has a... It's, this matchup is so much better. So the, the, it's, it's also the fact is things like, because I'm playing blue-red to make the most of the better Planeswalkers, because I don't want to play the, the Jeskai colours because you don't really benefit anything apart from Teferi, so you might as well just play two colours. Yes. Because you get access to things like mobilized districts, which means I'm losing out on legions and to deal with your problematic permanents. Because well, I also mother them to five in that game. It's yep. just it's kind of like without the new cards, some decks like the Raptor deck do look really powerful when they're probably not that good. Uh, they're not as good as they look. Because obviously we're missing so many of the new cards. And like so many of the new cards combat that deck really well. Like the six drops I want to play is Garrick. Because I make two two twos into a deck of one ones and two twos. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> How did I sideboard a minute ago? I can't remember now. Well, I, I don't but, know. I'm very annoyed by this because it's changed and I don't understand how. Did I just have a sixty-two card deck earlier? I don't understand. I have no idea. I've got another good deck to play up with against you next match, which should be quite interesting. Mm. So it does. I actually, do end this deck as well. It's actually interesting because there's a lot of cards that I think would be really good post rotation. It's just if you can get them to work in the right decks. Like Rally, Ral is a really good card, but he's yeah. just in the wrong colours. He's yep. all, he has always been in the wrong colours. Yeah, I mean this is definitely a keep. Not hundred percent on my my ordering here, but I always like having the information. I know that that's... Oh, God, you can go away. Mm. There you go. Mm, dang. That Grixis might be a really good colour combination in the next format, actually. Mm, yeah, I can see that. Because you get things like, uh, you get the, obviously, Legion's Ends being really important. And you're not too hurt on the mana because you still get four temples in your deck. I might actually do that after this. Have a look at the Right, list. I'm going to... Sorry, Grixis. Yeah, I'm going to uh, do this uh, because we actually want to pitch and see if we can hit land number three. That's not land number three, but it's a very good magic card, so... Temple of Triumph. It's an off color lad. It's an off color jewel just so I can do things with it. Yeah, Arena's not been kind to either of us in these last few games. No, no, it has not. I'm actually wondering if I just do this so that you don't have that. I think I do. Use your resting me again. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, Memory Mystic is not a thing I wanted to particularly see, though. Uh, um, I did also think that one of the interesting things is a lot of the be- a lot of the decks that people were trying to play weren't playing Cry of the Canarium, which is still a really good card against your deck. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Knight of the Ebon Legion resolved. Another Knight of the Ebon Legion that also resolved. They've been sitting in my hand waiting for me to find something. Oh. I'll take myself a lava coil. 
We died. Not yet. A but your deck's very res- incredibly resilient. A little bit surprised you didn't just fire off there so you could get a burb as well. I think we're just going to leave Nars out alone and just go punching. Yep, all right. Oh, and had the triumph as well. Yeah, okay, that's why you didn't fire off the lead. Yes. That makes total sense, and I am now very dead. Yeah. I cannot so, so sorry. That, so that was the reason I went because it's like if you've got to pump your mana in, then I'll take the three. I'll take the free removal spell and the burn. Yeah. Otherwise, it, I mean, I would. Have, it's kind of like, um, yeah, it's it's a strange one because it forces you to do very specific things in that position. I like have I like being in red at the moment as well because you, especially after sideboard, you get access to Legion Legion War Boss. Yeah. Uh, my opinion is in my sideboard and it's staying there because I don't think it's good against you. Uh, no, I'm <laughs> I'm probably the exception for Legion Warboss because I'm. But if you look at like all the Esper shells, that's the card that came out. It had scrolled down. Frack. <sighs> Screw you, Arena. What's that? There's disfigures still in my freaking deck. Oh right. Because it had scrolled down to the bottom of the oh, list. Oh no. Oh no. So I didn't see them, and I was like, oh, what is it I'm meant to be taking out here? Them two. Still, even as a mulligan to six, this is all right. Yeah. Oh, you've got this this figure in hand. Yeah. Okay, no, that's fair. But I can get rid of it. Oh, you've got a, uh, yeah. What's it called? We're just, we're just going to get rid of it here. Yeah, uh, seems good. Yep, that was a nice draw. I mean, Rick's Maddie Rebel is a nice one to have access to. Yes, it really is, actually. Uh... Let's go a punching. Yeah. Okay. There wow. he is. Nice. That was a nice curve out. Oh, it certainly was. Lava coil it? Yep. Seems oh, yes. Cool. Oh, yes. We are, we are 100% lava coiling that one. Oh, wow. What a draw. What a, what a oh no, I uh, I could have played that last turn, but I wanted to hold out on it. Oh wow! Wow. The dream's dead. The dream is dead. Let's make a blocker. I brought this in because it's the best I've got against Murmuring Mystic. I am not really? happy that it's the best I've got. That's pretty bad. Although it's probably won you this game. Yeah. It's won you that. It won you the game. That's yep. It's fine. No, just the double the, the duress was really good in that game. Yes. That's, that's frustrating. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that was, uh, um, is it Planeswalker Control versus Rakdos Aggro? Um, mm -hmm. I think we're both of the opinion that had your deck drawn sensibly, those games I think you've got, I think closer. I think the post-war games, I think game one you should always lose, game two and three you should probably win. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I do terribly in game three, but it's fine. It's one of those things. Right. I'll, 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 um, 
you you play those decks again because actually it's probably more worthwhile you actually playing real decks. Um, let me just quickly throw together the next one I've got. I've got two more to play. Okay. Well, while you're looking through yours, I'm just going to go and basically say that this is probably what I'm playing next. Um, we've taken out the cards that aren't going to be legal, and we've put in cards that are going to be legal. And I think the shell is still good, so we can play it. You know, I forgot about this card, folks. I can't believe I did. I loved this card so much when it was previewed. It's just everything I want to be doing in Magic. Let's try and work this one out. Okay. Uh, give me a second. So let's go decks. I was actually really disappointed how those match how that how those games went because I actually thought my deck was much better than that. Yeah. Or it, oh, or it has been performing better than that. It's just like, oh, oh maybe it's not. Yeah, no, I'll agree. It's a bit with annoying. That. Okay. Hmm. No, that's a fair comment. Because I, I think the, the, the deck should have performed better. But, uh, yeah. Right, well, uh, while John finds his cards, uh, I'd like to let people know that the next stream that I will be doing, which is actually on Tuesday, uh, will be the War of the Spark, uh, sorry, not the War of the Spark, <laughs> it will be the Throne of Eldraine preview streamer event. It is going to be uh, next Tuesday and UK time, it starts at 4pm and I intend to start at 4pm as soon as I've you know log logged in and everything, got everything up and running. Uh, and the plan is that I'm going to play basically until I collapse. And we're just going to go through all of the new cards. I've, uh, um, I'm going to start like building new decks over the course of the week. Uh, well, the next few days leading up to it, and then we're gonna we're gonna play some best of one constructed. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to it. And obviously, big thanks to to Wizards for allowing streamers like me to do this kind of thing think it's going to be a uh, a really fun day because i i'm really interested in the set in how it plays obviously rotation is a is a pretty big deal and uh and we're going to be able to see some of the first decks obviously that then that following thursday when we do this again it'll be interesting because obviously i'll be able to play with the new cards as well exactly we'll be into the full, real games. full release at that point we'll be able to play some best of three you'll be playing against me yeah no that will that'll be really good um and uh yeah but for those of you in chat next tuesday i will be streaming from 4 p.m until probably like at least ten ish. I've I've managed to do six hours the last few times, but if I can push it really late, I will. We will we will see how that goes. Um, but uh, yeah, I am I am pretty pretty hyped for this one. We always get to do. No, absolutely. No, I don't always get to do, uh, or it's not necessarily a thing that I always get to do. So yeah, it's uh, it's good. Um, Sheepy, yeah, of course, language barrier. Did I? I actually um, considered going when I was in Japan to a uh, PPTQ, a sealed PPTQ. I was really tempted to go. Unfortunately, I couldn't find like decent connections to get me to to where i needed to be um 
because we were out in the boonies and as good as the Japanese rail system is, getting from one part of backwaters of nowhere to another part of the backwaters of nowhere is actually not that easy if you don't own a car. Um, <laughs> so, or, you know, are able to drive in Japan, which we were not. Uh, and we were also told not to consider it because obviously it was going to be ridiculously snowy. So yeah, I know what you mean, the language barrier. But I considered going and I even tested myself. I went through, because it was uh, Rivals of Ixlan. And I was like, I need to get my testing in because I had the RPTQ in that format and was doing a bunch of stuff for, for it. So I was like, oh, okay, I know the format pretty well. Let me see if I can look at the Japanese versions of the cards and know what they are. And I think... You know, with that, I was actually fairly happy with how I was doing it. But I'd also been playing it for, like, a month at that point. Whereas, obviously, doing a pre-release in a foreign language is probably not really doable. Because mm. you won't be able to sight-read all of the, the cards based on their art and things. Um, yeah. You know, that's... That's how I was doing it when I was trying to figure out which cards were which. It was like, okay, the art, the mana cost, and are there any numbers in the text, basically? You know, is, the, is this doing a minus one, minus one thing, or something like that? Um, you, uh... I am nearly done. Excellent, excellent. Um... But Sheepy, you still get to play on MTGA. Just saying. Like, that will be releasing on the Thursday, so you'll get to do, like, your pre-release on uh, on Arena. That's basically what I'm doing. Um, I will probably, I probably will as well. Yeah. It's actually interesting, because um, you get the free, effectively the free... Uh, if you go to a normal pre-release, you get a... Um, Draft at the moment is a it draft. traditional draft? Uh, I thought it was for free release. Well, it was some, you get something for free, which is obviously super sweet. Yeah, no. Um, I think previously it's been everything from a seal. It's been a set of six packs, I believe. It's been a sealed league or a a sealed set, um, and then it's also been a draft. And I think you're right. I think it's also been like a pre-release thing. Um, Yeah, Sheepy, I, I've been kind of the same. I've not been inclined to play as much with rotation coming up and also, yeah, uh, bit okay. busy. Bit busy. You good yeah, to go? I, yeah, yeah, I'm good to go. I'm in, I'm in queue ready to go. Yeah, um, I, there we go. Sweet. Um, the, the, I've got some plans for, for the podcast, so hopefully over the next... Oh, yeah. Month ish, you'll start seeing some some things. Um, By the way, it, he's, he still has to tell me what his plans are. Yeah, it's all back end stuff, John. It's all just making it easier so that if if I ever do go and get a job, um, yeah. I can. Uh, I think we keep this. Uh, yeah, it, that's it'll fair. be it'll be a little bit easier for me to to do. So. Hundred percent. Yeah. All right. You can stay right there. Shh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. We're up against Grixis. Didn't thought Erasure me on turn two because of the tap lands. Just never lucky is what the problem is. Mm. You may have your Teferi. I'm actually wondering if I had just empty bounce here. I think I do. Get something out of this before it gets killed. Not that that was exactly the card that I wanted to get out of it, but you know, I'll, I'll yep. take it. Agreed. I mean, don't worry, I've drawn a lot of irrelevant cards right now as well. And a lot of lands, but it's fine. Yep, it's very time rather than rabble sometimes. Okay. Yep. Pretty good. Oh, come on, seriously? <laughs> yeah, this is this is the problem with control decks in game one. It's a bit of a slap fight. I 
definitely don't mind getting rid of some of those cards. <laughs> we'll just, we'll just, just be no set and yeah, and uh, hero he, precinct he, one. Precinct one. <laughs> <sighs> Pretty rough. Yeah, not uh, not super happy with that one. Right, let's get a second black source on field. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, All right. That can go back in your hand, mate. Okay. <laughs> oh, no! Urmagura Durgan. <laughs> it's a Durgan! <laughs> it's a Durgan! Uh, oh, exile a card in my hand. Oh, what a terrible fucking shame. <laughs> well, ex exile land number nine. Um, yeah. yeah. Doing it the Can hard way, folks. Double Oath of Kaya. Yeah. Wow. Doing wow. it the hard way. <laughs> that is savage. Can I, like, draw some relevant cards that you have? Nope. Oath of not. Kaya is not... Is barely a relevant card. It was only relevant because I drew two of them and your plane draw read less than six loyalty. Um, yeah. Right. Chance of you having shock over black removal feels pretty slim. Plus, I just to draw cards so let's just put that back in the hand okay not that card a decent magic card please I'm still waiting to draw a decent magic card as well well I guess that counts yeah I, I think that might count as well somehow <laughs> yep uh, at least I've got plenty of lands to exile. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I'd be in the same position as you. I'd have plenty of lands to discard as well. <laughs> yep, I've done the hero thing before. This might be a bad idea, Jack. Oh, no. Oh, no. What a terrible shame. I've given you a target for all of that removal you have. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, but I can't do it in your end step, Jack. What is this? Yeah, I know. It's oh, great. Man. Right. We'll start with the, the disinformation of my opponent. Oh. And then we'll kill your thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell? Uh, possibly I should have just exiled a land off the battlefield, but... Oh, come on. I have wanted to play this uncommon since it got printed, and I never did. And I'm really enjoying it now. We are dead. At my opponent expense. We are dead. So my end, my at the end of the game, my hand was Cry of the Canary and Ritual of Sutton, Enter the God Eternals. Well, you got to see what was going on with mine, so I won't... I won't regale you with it, but yeah, it was yeah. Uh, it was not great. No, no, it was not. <laughs> yeah, could control matchups pre-board are just a slap fight. Yeah, um, it's pretty bad. I kind of feel like I have to get rid of half this rubbish in my deck. I've got so many dead cards. No, is that even a dead card? Probably. Um. Yeah, I have got so much stuff I can take out. I think I can take you out. I can definitely take you out. Why have I not taken more of you out? Um, oh, we'll bring you in. This is better than... This is probably better than this. Yeah, probably. Um, mm, Let's try this. I'm going to give this a go and be yes. real sad when it doesn't work. Yes, GP, I agree. I do love this information campaign as well. Oh. This is like the matchup where it's just like bananas good. Like it's probably fine in um, like the ramp matchups as well because you can take them off a lot of the spells. But again, it's kind of like 
I, I want this information campaign to be good post rotation. I just don't think it will be. <laughs> this, I, like honestly, I want Raul to be good. Yeah, I, really I, I think he is. Good. Like, I think he's, he's a, a fine magic card. It's yeah, exactly. It's just finding the shell. Like, you might have to play him in Jeskai because then you get rapid play. I'm gonna I, know he, I will keep this hand. This hand seems fine. I don't really want to mulligan against the uh, the, the thought of Rage of Discard deck. <laughs> I mean, he says playing a thought of Rage of Discard deck. Yeah, exactly. But right. it's, I, I have a keepable hand that will hopefully work on the draw. There's a few things I need to find, but again, we'll see what happens. No. Hmm. Yeah, I, I was. What was I playing with Replica first? I was playing everything that wasn't. I was playing every blue black deck which didn't include this information campaign, and I don't know why. <laughs> oh, fuck. Right. Uh, I just played Veto. So that you can Thought Erasure, the other relevant yeah. card. Okay. I, I actually top decked the Thought Erasure. I'm really sorry. I actually, top deck the Thought Erasure. No, it's board. fine. That is exactly what happens. I still, I, would... I had cards that I couldn't. There, there were not enough things in my deck to bring in against you. Sure. So I still had dead cards, and so my first hand, I was like, uh, two lands. Neither of them make black. Mm -hmm. And then I also had the uh, Tyrant Scorn. Oh, cool. And I'm like, oh. it's already effectively a mulligan to six. Will mold to six. It's London Mulligan. Yeah. It's a lot better. And then I had a hand with two Tyrant Scorn in. And I'm yes. like, there's three of them in the deck because I didn't have enough things to take, like to, to yeah. put in. Definitely. And then uh, the last draw there was another Tyrant Scorn. And I'm like, okay, nice. I, I don't even understand. Do you want to try it again? Um, or... Do you want me to play my. Uh, so I've got. I have loads of decks. So I can play another one. Let's play another one. I mean, if you, you have him ready to want. rock... Oh, yeah, I've got him all ready to roll already. Then then go for it. Um, and then uh, what we'll do is we can maybe play we'll play this one, one other one, and maybe play the Soul Tide deck again. Yeah, okay. Yep. So we haven't played that one. Uh, so am I just doing a random deck of the, the 2020s that you I can, have? You can play whatever you want. I just need to actually check that this deck has a sideboard. I will play that sideboard. again. Let's see how it does this time. Let me uh, let me quickly put a sideboard together. Good evening, Loki. How's things going? Um. Do you have no sideboard for that deck, then, I'm guessing. Uh, no, I literally need two seconds to do it because I know what I need to put in it. All right, cool, cool. Oh, they're in the main. Ooh. Um... Um, a card sorry, that you're like, um, I want this in my sideboard and it's already in the main. I'm like, yeah, oh, tell me about it. Oh, um, yeah. I just need, like, just give me two seconds. I've actually, I have had that a fair amount recently. There's been a lot of main decking of sideboard cards going on yeah, recently. It's, yeah. It, it's, certainly in regular standard, it's because we all know what the meta game is. It's, you know, yes. Teferis and big dumb green creatures and planeswalkers. So you can actually put cards that are technically, like, classically sideboard cards into your main deck. But yeah, you, you're like, Noxious Grasp in the main deck. And I'm sitting there going, I don't know what's going on here anymore. I know, it's, it's a mad world, mad world we live in. Yeah. Putting negate in your main deck has always felt fine because you go every deck in standard has non creature spells of some variety. Yes. Main game one, I will probably be able to like wrangle out a target for this. But yeah. when you've when you've got very specific hate cards, I actually the that counter spell that you brought up on the podcast. Um, the the slightly worse mana leak that's actually better mana leak because it deals with Teferi. Uh, uh, 
with Tatlin. Yes, it was a mystical dispute. That's the one, yeah. Uh, like, that's a brilliant form of hate to me. I think that's really clever. Um, yeah, I think that card's, I think that card is, um, is very good, actually. Yeah. I'm looking forward to... Um, oh, no, I'm very much looking forward to giving that one a go. Right, uh, home, uh, direct challenge. That's what I'm on. Yeah, I've got it. Cool, right. Uh, yeah, no, so all it, sorry, all it was is I had to quickly go back and put the sideboard in because I took the sideboard out because I didn't need it. I wasn't happy with what was in it. And that, it's actually really interesting, these 2020 decks, because obviously a lot of them, like, this shows you what is still in the format, ready to go, mm. which is really interesting. We're going to keep this. And we're going to bin that. Let's mulligan this. I wish I hadn't mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness me, that's even worse. Okay, we have to keep this one. Okay, what's going on on the other side of the battlefield? So oh. Mulligan to four. Mulligan to four. I thought it was only down my to five. So my opening, my opening land was a six. My opening hand was a six lander. Yeah. And then my five and my six and my five were both one landers. I might, I can't keep either of these. Okay, Simic uh, Guildgate suggests that the Gain Life lands are also in the deck, so that just says that this is just a Simic list? Maybe? You need so many dual lands that had to play them all? No, I just didn't want to mulligan to four. No, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean why is Guildgate in your deck over the Gain Life land? That would resolve, that's fine. Come on. Come on, deck. I know you hate me. Yeah, you really do hate me. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Yep, take three. Oh, the spawn. Oh, well, we might be dead. Oh, yeah, we're super dead. Yeah. We just mulligan to four. Yep. That That is generally what happens when you mulligan to four. I haven't got a damn clue what you're doing, though. Mm, that's the problem, isn't it? It doesn't help any. It doesn't help us that mulligan to four. Yeah. I mean, you should be able to work it. I'm just going to consider this one as like after like, there's, there's no point playing another game if I've already mulligan to four. Yeah. Okay, or, do you want to? We'll, we'll try that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I I'd saw like Bant lands. I haven't got a clue what's going on. Let's. Uh, I'd like to like not actually play. I'd like to play a game of Magic. That's like proper variance that I. Bear in mind, Arena is meant to set up to give you better, but sort of more average hands. Well, I mean, it isn't in best of three though, is it? No, I know, but I, the, my deck has. Upwards of twenty six lands. Yep. So I shouldn't mulligan that. I shouldn't have to mulligan that much. Uh, sure, we'll keep this. That well, maybe I shouldn't have kept this one actually. Let's find this. See what happens. All right. All right. Like for the fact that this deck shouldn't mulligan, it's a little bit frustrating because the opening hands have been pretty terrible. Yeah, I figured that was what was going on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this game could be pretty quick as well. No, well, maybe not actually. I've got plenty of life. Yeah. You you got time. You got time to be finding things. 
Uh, I suppose that's fine. Mm. Yep. Can't get the strength to scroll along. <laughs> Too many lands. Too many lands. Yeah, pretty much. Chandra might be a pain to deal with, though. Hmm. That's interesting. Not good interesting, but interesting. Yep. I'll take five this turn. That's a lot of damage. Yikes. Uh, it's actually for the one. Huh. Huh. Check. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Um. I mean, landscape shift. Oh, goalless. Okay. Scape shift's not even legal. Oh, of course it won't be. Yeah. 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 Black source, black source, black source. Oh, it's already. Oh, you have the devil in hand, don't you? Yes. And nothing else you need to worry about. Screw you, screw you, screw you, deck. <laughs> I mean, I suppose that actually does sort of do something. Mm hmm. Yeah, you get to kill Gavis with two bonus fouls, which is pretty good. Yeah. Yep. Well, you, you have to do that. <laughs> you have to do it. <laughs> you don't want to, but you have to. Yep. Yep. Hi, Golas. Uh, no, there's no point. Yeah, there's no point. There is no point. The point, there is none of it. Ah, yeah, fine. Yeah, let's just kill everything now. Reset the battlefield. Okay. Mm, take three. Take two, sorry. And that's, why it's, and that's why it's uh, gates. Because yeah. this is a gates deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's goalless gates. Yeah. I had not actually realised that. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Paying full retail for a spawn of mayhem. Yes. Not something I am regularly inclined to do. No. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Didn't have the land at least. The goalless deck is what I would call stupid actually actually yeah. no agent of treachery is stupid the fact that it doesn't have the return clause is yep. <laughs> really annoying to me yeah um, so actually the, the more stupid version of this deck is yarok field because it, yarok just triggers it so many more times i i can only make so many tokens each turn yarok makes double that yeah and also makes a three five death touch life linker which is also stupid <laughs> 